Hello people, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the serial wire viewer or the serial trace on the STM32 nuclear boards uh, which allows you to use uh, printf statements uh, while debugging your uh, programs. So uh, one of the first things that you need to do um, on CubeMX is to select the trace asynchronous SW option here. Uh, what that does is it dedicates the pin PB3 as the serial wire output pin. Okay. Um, after this, you just need to generate the code uh, for your project. Uh, once that is done, you would import it in your uh, True Studio or uh, Eclipse. Okay. Then there are a couple of things that you need to include in your program. The first thing being you need to create uh, this function, the write function. Um, I'll link my GitHub repository so that you can copy the code from there. Uh, it's just a simple function that takes in um, uh, a pointer and the length of the pointer and sends it to the ITM send car function. Okay. Uh, once you've done that, uh, under the debug configuration, you need to make sure that the serial wire is enabled. Uh, you go to debugger and enable serial wire viewer, okay? The core clock or the sys clock on the STM32 Nucleo that I have is eight megahertz. Um, I left the SWO clock at its default of 2000 and everything else looks good. So once you've done that, um, you can launch the debugger and wait for it to connect. Then there's one final setting that you need to do in True Studio before you're able to view it. Um, under the SWV console, if you do not see this option, you could go to um, View and SWV and then SWV console. That would bring up this particular tab. Here you need to configure these options. So basically you uncheck everything, all the options that you see here, except for the ITM stimulus port, port number zero. That needs to be enabled, that's all. Once that is done, uh, click OK. And then one final step, which I have missed pretty often, is to start the trace. You need to start the trace while the firmware is at a breakpoint. So I'll just start the trace here, all right? And I will make the program run. Now, as you can see, um, I am in my program, I am just blinking an LED and, you know, switching it on and switching it off. And then I'm just printing hello world with uh, an integer preceding it. And you can see that, and that happens once every second. And you can see that, you know, we're able to view that on port zero in, the, in that console. Thank you for watching. I hope, uh, I hope this was of help to you.